Hi friends, welcome to biologyexamsforay.com. In the last video, we discussed about how to calculate the dilution factor in serial dilution. In this video, we are going to calculate the number of colony forming units per ml of original stock using a simple equation. The equation is CFU per ml is equal to number of colonies into total dilution factor or TDF divided by volume of culture plated in ml. We have divided this into three steps for easy understanding. What is the number of CFU per ml of original stock? So we need to find out the CFU per ml of this stock solution. So this is the question. The colony count is given. Step 1. Find out the plate with countable number of colonies. So what do you mean by countable number of colonies? As a standard procedure, select a plate with number of colonies ranging between 30 to 300. So this number is statistically and experimentally deduced number. So let me make it more clear. Let us zoom in these plates. Suppose this is a plate with 443 number of colonies. Here the second plate with 63 number of colonies. This is the third plate with three colonies. This plate is considered as too many to count. So beyond 300, the colony will be very much crowded, so the chance of error is very high. In this case, it is too few to count, that means below 30, the sample size is very small, the chance of error is also very high. So we need to select a petri plate with colonies ranging from 30 to 300. Here, that petri plate with colony number 63 should be taken. So this is the plate we have selected. So first step is over. Step 2. Find out the total dilution factor. Dilution factor, the equation is Vf by Vi. That is final volume by initial volume. Final volume means diluent volume plus the volume that is transferred from the stock solution. So final volume here it is 10 ml. Volume transferred is 1 ml, 10 by 1 in the case of test tube A. So let us label the test tube first, A, B, C, D, E and F. So in the first test tube, the dilution factor is 10, 9 plus 1, that is 10 by 1. 1 ml is transferred, the stock transferred is 1 ml, so 10 by 1, that is 10 or 10 raised to 1 is the dilution, total dilution factor. In, for the test tube A, the dilution factor and total dilution factor is the same. But in the second test tube, we have further diluted it 10 times. Therefore, in the test tube B, the dilution, total dilution factor becomes 10 raised to 1 into 10 raised to 1. That makes 10 raised to 2. So in serial dilution, we are diluting the sample with the same amount, same volume in successive steps. So in the third test tube, it will be 10 raised to 3 that is 10 raised to 1 into 10 raised to 1 into 10 raised to 1 that makes 10 raised to 3 or 1000 that means in this this test tube is 1000 fold diluted compared to the original stock or 1000 fold decrease in concentration compared to the original stock so the same thing happens with test tube d it will become 10 raised to 4 that is 10 raised to 1 into 10 raised to 1 into 10 raised to 1 into 10 raised to 4 that makes 10,000 that is 10 raised to 4. In test tube E it is 10 raised to 5 and test tube F it is 10 raised to 6. So we have calculated the total dilution factor. Remember total dilution factor is dilution factor of test tube 1 into test tube 2 into test tube 3. The plate we have selected is this one that is with 63 colonies. So the corresponding culture is this test tube E with a total dilution factor of 10 raised to 5. So we need to select this dilution factor for further calculation. Let me repeat once more. The plate we selected is with 63 colonies. So the corresponding culture is test tube E with a total dilution factor of 10 raised to 5. So we need to select this 10 raised to 5 total dilution factor for further calculation. Step 2 is over. Step 3 is simply substituting the values in the equation. 
So the equation is CF per ml of original stock is equal to number of colonies into total dilution factor divided by volume of culture plated in ml. So here we have the data number of colonies that is 63. This is the data 63. Total dilution factor we have found out that is 10 raised to 5. Volume plated is 0.1 ml. This is very important 0.1 ml. From this 10 ml, we have taken only 0.1 ml. So this is further diluted. That should be considered. So if it is 1 ml, then the equation become number of colonies into total dilution factor will be getting the CFU per ml of the original stock. So let me substitute the values. CFU per ml in original stock is 63 into 10 raised to 5. That is the total dilution factor by the volume of culture plated in 1 ml, here we have taken only 0 0.1, 0 0.1 ml. That makes 63 into 0 0.1 ml, it becomes 10 raised to 6. So this 10 raised to 6 is actually the 10 raised to 5 dilution of this culture. So from this 10 ml, we have taken only 0 0.1 ml, that is we have further diluted 10 times. That makes it 10 raised to 6. So the answer will be 63 followed by 6 zeros CFU per ml of original stock. So scientifically it is written as 6.3 into 10 raised to 7 CFU per ml. So this is how we calculate the CFU per ml in original stock. So let me summarize the steps. Step 1. Find out the plate with countable number of colonies that is between 30 to 300. Step 2 find out the total dilution factor and step 3 also consider the amount or volume of culture plated in 0.1 ml and substitute the values. Hope you are clear. If you find this video useful please consider subscribing our channel. Thank you so much for your support.